good y'all hope y'all been having a wonderful evening the start of a new week is tuesday but yeah it's a new month okay you got a new chance to make things right in your life okay you can always start over all right <laughs> and i'm talking to everyone okay you can always change what you've been doing you don't have to if something is not working you can stop and try a different direction okay um those of you who are seeking the light, those of you who have chosen the light, you know, it's reaping season, right? You know, everything is starting to work out for you. You have to believe that, okay? And for those who have chosen the dark, it's reaping season for you too. But at the end of the day, it's different types of rewards or punishments that's going on. You get what I'm saying? So long story short, make sure you do good and be kind to people. Be kind to others. Stop what you're doing if you're going out your way to try to hurt people or mess with people. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. It ain't working. You get what I'm saying? It's actually making these people stronger. You get what I'm saying? So now it's time for you to find yourself and start loving yourself and focus on becoming a better version of yourself for yourself. You get what I'm saying? It's time to let go. Let go and let God. Let's go. What's going on, spirits? That was for somebody. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. Okay. Somebody could be feeling like there's an unrequited love. I feel like whatever those past relationships, those karmics that just will not let go. Um, it's unrequited. And they're trying to do anything and everything they can. But we got to make the effort. Okay. This is for my divines. We got to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take. And we got attraction. You are attracting romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so you have a past life a lover that's coming back to make the effort because they're very much attracted to you. Spirit is saying keep an open mind. Your soul may be different from your usual type and expectation. So y'all may be completely different from each other or just different from y'all usual type, you know? This person usually go after a certain type and that just didn't work for them. And now they have their mind open. And guess what? The more their mind open up, the more they looking at you. You get what I'm saying? Y'all were just too different at first. Swear said you can trust this. Look, romantic feelings and soulmate, chemistry. I'm telling you, your person is on their way back. They have been doing a lot of work on themselves. Also... When I first pulled these cards, um, Naughty Thoughts of You was on the top. So I decided to go with that theme, okay? Let's see what, what thoughts your person has, whether they're naughty or nice. Mm-hmm. Is this person naughty or nice? Huh? Do your mind always live in the gutter? <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Four-page letter. Four page letter. I think I'm going to pull up some more. Let me see what else. Okay. Four page letter. So somebody is about to open up and express a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. They may want to write it down because it may be so much and they don't want to forget nothing. You know what I mean? Like, and then they don't want to kind of like rehearse it because then it sounds rehearsed. You know what I mean? So they may just, their best bet may be to write you a letter, you know, to get the most the bulk of it off their chest okay um all right i could be sending you a text message a long text message or whatever the case may be let's see what's going on i feel deeply connected to you oh my god look and will you marry me i feel deeply connected to you and will you marry me so this person is very much attracted to you they're ready to make the effort towards you you have a connection that's unbreakable. Y'all are going to build an unbreakable bond. Nobody can come in between that. Look silent, but watching. First of all, we got Will You Marry Me. They already know you're a past life lover. Look, Divine Masculine is silent, but watching your butt. <laughs> the near future. Where that mark at? I'm going to put the R. <laughs> I'm going to just put the R. The near future okay so this
this is about to happen very soon. Look, will you marry me in the near future? So don't be surprised. Like, I feel like your person is going to surprise you. I feel like even if you know, you're, you're still going to be in shock. Like, did this person really want to marry you? Like, and they might come out and say it. They might write you a long four-page letter. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. Get a sip of water. I feel like they got a lot to say. And now that th throat chakra is being activated, it's time for them to talk. It's time for them to make the effort and express how they feel. Like if you, the person that they want to marry, it's time to step up and say that. Like even if you ain't ready to walk through those doors just yet, mask me, you can still pick up that phone, you know? But it's no rush. Everything is divine timing, but I feel like divine timing is happening now. Look, coverage. Spirit is trying to work on this person to have the courage to be able to just say it. Say what they need to say. Do what they need to do. But please forgive me. Oh, that's going under divine mask, went silent but watching. Please forgive me. They are, they are planning a surprise. I can't make... It's going under, will you marry me in the near future? And they are, they are planning a surprise. You are aligned. Oh, this person is getting some courage now. You know, this person ready to just ask you like, look, can I put a ring on your finger? Put it on and make you want to marry me. <laughs> Go getting. You to go. They trying to get you. Go getting. And I feel like also y'all going to be reaching and achieving goals together. But I feel like the goal now is union. Yeah, reunion. Y'all already in union. Y'all already deeply connected. This person feel that. They know that. They trust that now. Um, they know that you're their true love. And they had a lot of time to think. Okay? And you're all all they seem to be thinking of. Joe to see. Or is that? No, that's Casey and JoJo. <laughs> Yin Yang. Yin Yang. Okay? They're planning a surprise. Okay? They feel like you are their other half. They are your other half. Y'all just go well together. Y'all balance out each other. The dark, the light, the good, the bad. And I feel like this person is just recognizing that. Unless they want to marry you. Alright? So that's two different cards. That is... Both of y'all feeling the same thing because you got you are aligned. Um, both of y'all are feeling the same thing. That's double confirmation. Bravery. So they will be brave and open up and express to you all of these beautiful things that they had to say. And it's going to come from the bottom of their heart. I feel like they have pure intentions. I feel like y'all both are safe with each other. Y'all inner childs are safe with each other. Like you don't judge this person. You don't make this person feel bad for the way that they are. You know what I mean? And they just asking for your forgiveness because they know they mistreated you. They didn't understand before, but they understand now. And now is all that matters. Before don't matter. Tomorrow don't matter. All that matters is right now. Big changes are happening. Get prepared. Yin Yang, they're planning a surprise in the near future. Will you marry me? Okay? Manifesting success. Manifesting success. Here, this, here it go. Naughty thoughts of you and thinking about you. Mm -hmm. What y'all thinking about the rhyme last minute? Now, I can't show y'all these next cards, but I'm going to just let y'all know what they thinking. All right. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all know. Y'all know I'm going to keep it one with y'all. Let's make space now. Ascending masters helping bring you two together. So you could be seeing 333 three, three, and windfall of money. Like, y'all about to be up. Y'all about to be up off some. Okay. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Excuse the noise in the background. It's the washer. Got a multitask. Got a multitask. What's going on? Okay. So we got the king of cups that flew out. Okay. I can't show y'all. I can't. Just know that this person has deep, deep emotions. <laughs> okay and they're going to show it to you in a pleasurable way not only from the bottom of their heart they're going to express it to you but they're going to make the effort in many different ways to show you that they love you and that they appreciate you they appreciate a lot of things about you 
okay the way you talk and use your mouth you know the things that the way that you express yourself to them they're so attracted to all of that okay and I feel like they want to open up and express their love that they feeling for you okay ten of cups we got king of king of cups um, Knight of Wands, that's a knight or the page, the page of wands, okay, so that's expression, that's, you know, look, that's expression, I can't even, you know, and they are attracted to that, they are attracted to the way you express yourself, okay, and they want to express themselves, they want to show you in a deep way, okay, um, yeah, but, um, I feel like they want to build a home with you. Um, I feel like they're ready to surrender to this connection. I feel like you fulfill their wishes, Ten of Cups. Like, this will be a happy ever after type of energy, okay, with your past life person. They know who you are to them, Nine of Pentacles. If you think, if you're wondering about them, they are single. Um, I feel like they're about to express themselves and take that mask off that they've been wearing when it came to you. They may not have told you yet that they have been single and sleeping alone, living alone. But it's about to happen soon, Tower. Because we got Nine of Pentacles now, the Tower. Um, the Tower is under the Page of um, Wands, which is, on this card, is the Knave of Wands. We also have the Judgment card under the Ten of Cups with the Star. So let me just be clear right now. Something major is about to go down now. It's about to happen right now. Um... <clears throat> This is going to be something sudden. Like, I feel like they got some type of sudden epiphany. They got some type of, you know, thoughts rush through their head. Like, you know what? I need to I need to open up and express something to my person. I need to call my person. I need to talk to them. Because um, they had a wake-up call. Like, your person could have been a little hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't going to sit there in front. Everybody had whole phases. Ain't, you know, to each his own. But... At the time that you were dealing with that person, I feel like you were ready to settle down. And your person just wasn't. They were living a single life. They could be a single, living a single life right now. And not letting you know that uh, they've been out of that connection with that person. I mean, for different people, it's different things. This, this person could be living alone at the moment. But um, they could be, you know, had dippled and dabbled with a few little, you know what I'm saying, but it didn't work out because they can't stop thinking about you, even if they with somebody else. You know what I'm talking about? But they having a major wake up call in the midst of like spirit is not playing with your person. Like, and I feel like your person just got this look like, how did we get here and what am I doing here? Like they tired of that type of life. They ready to come home to just one woman like that's gonna be there for them. Like, you know what I mean? Because I feel like even if you mad at this person, you don't even scream at them. Like, it may have been times where you did get upset or whatever, but I don't feel like you ever, if this is a twin flame connection I'm talking about, I don't feel like you ever even really raised your voice at your person, even when you were com completely upset or angry with this person. But things are about to heal, okay? This is Superman. They already, <laughs> like, there's a lot of things come to this card like this person is definitely ready to surrender this is the dun 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 he like look just rain down on me like this person is ready to surrender to all your loving and everything that you got with you okay <laughs> i'm not gonna get too much in detail with that but this is about to be healed and they want to come come quickly knight of wands they want to come quickly to the situation but i'll even if they come to you quickly i don't think this is going to be quick this is going to be you know the new start of the rest of your lives together okay they are making a plan they're planning something out right now to come towards you to come maybe to your home and balance things out something has been exposed about the person that they were with okay um either that's happening now or it has already happened and i feel like you know they ended it with a unrequited love and they're they are coming towards you because you are attracting this you are an empress you are a goddess and they know who you are and this person is the sugar honey iced tea too now we're not gonna front they just had a little slip up or whatever so just trust that everything is starting to work out in your favor okay you have to believe it what you believe you will achieve you will receive okay so say a prayer for yourself and your person be kind and gentle to yourself and your person namaste